if you search hard enough, the hidden gems are everywhere. But you got to seek it out. you got to sieve through the noise. So we put a call out. Where are the best donuts in South Auckland? And the people spoke to us and they said, chart well, chart well. So we got another person who's been charting well lately. You, you, you kind of see what I, you see what I did? That was, <laughs> Sam V. He's a hidden gem. More than just a talented musician, he's a superstar in the making. And his Cook Island heritage gives him the right to be the perfect companion for these quote unquote best donuts in South Auckland. Sit back, let us come through with Sam V. You know, you know where I'm going. You know where I'm going. Yeah, you go for the golden patch, mm. you gotta stay on brand. Two dollars fifty bars actually. They got they don't have Musashi here. That's my brand partnership. Is it? Yeah. Oh, sorry, very so I can't actually talk about any of these other ones. Okay. Just <laughs> Josh and should we get one? Okay, we shall. <laughs> you have a choice though, we can go we can go tropical punch. You know where I'm going, but you can Where's go the creaming soda? That's the real question. Points off? Is that what? how it works? <sighs> actually, it's it's sold out. Too popular, eh? Bro, Chawal Bakery, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. Anyway, Sam, get get us get us two, whatever one you want, bro. bro. On the house. Okay, so he's going with the pash. There. He's going with two pashes. Right. Two two pashes. Two pashes two on pashes one night. Good return, bro. <laughs> uh, steak and cheese. We're definitely getting a steak and cheese. Yeah, have to. Yep. Um, they said that the uh, spinach and feta quiches are on. Bro, they got they got some chicken shinsu on soy and linseed, bro. Oh. <laughs> Where are, we? where are we? But two. This but, is but two bougie for me, bro. <laughs> so we're gonna get two steak and cheese. Yeah. We're gonna get one feta. Yeah. We'll half it. We'll half it. We'll half it. We'll half it. We'll meet in the middle. Where's Bischoff? Where is it? <laughs> okay. This is the creme de. La this is why I bought you here. Yeah. Bro. Is are these donuts now? You're. It's like you're a bit of a head of head of gem, Miss Envy. You're a head of. A lot of people don't don't respect right now, and that's my job. My job here is to bring the respect. Thank you. Okay. These Bushkoff donuts, uh, I, I don't want to overdo them, but they're very good. So, do you want some taste for it? Uh, Put it back. I'm going to buy it. Yeah. Wait, l wait, little, Sorry, little man. Sorry, Dad. Right, chuck it over there with the golden patch then, eh? Oh, Auntie, give me a golden smash. New Zealand has more bakeries than the population of Invercargill. Wow, you've done your research. Bro, do you know my sauce, bro? Tomato, tomato sauce, bro. Oh, wow. <laughs> Parmesan. Bro, you read me like a book, bro. <laughs> what, what do you call it? Train smash? A train smash, yeah. Okay, why is it called a train smash? Bro, don't worry about it. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm worried. <laughs> I'm actually worried. Bro. So you put it on top and not under the under the lid? Bro, nah. Yeah. Oh, shout outs, Nadia. Shout outs. Mm. There's a um, there's a level to the jelliness, right? If it's like there was, like, don't get me wrong, people love this stuff. My thing is if it it looks like hair gel, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That 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 real gloppy gloopy well, look. Yeah, seven so. social vibes. That's it, right? Yeah, yeah, bro. I don't get that vibe in here. Fire shirt. What are you looking at, bro? I'm analyzing the damage, bro. But it's good damage, bro. Like me. Sammy. Did you get some steak? Yeah, I actually did. You did? I did. I slurped a little bit of it out. Hey, you're, you're a slurper. Bro, get the job Who's done, bro. Who's not, right? Well, let, 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 let's be real, because I, I saw another episode and, and uh, you know, I said not a slurper. But, bro, we're here to enjoy our tucker, right? We're oh. here to enjoy our chow. Yes. There's no pride in food. Thank you, sir. They're, 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 you're, getting, you're, you know, you're getting there to get the job done. We're here to enjoy ourselves. Okay. Slip away. away. Slip away, my friend. Slip away. Oh. I love that sound. Mm. Wow, that took me back. Took me back to my. Uh... Oh, careful, not on, just, not on. The... Just decorated the jeans, bro. So, like I said, bro. You find jeans. Cultural right? artifact. The jeans or, or huh? you? <laughs> Stop flirting. <laughs> We're in the woods, yeah, bro. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be careful, Tim. Very spicy flirting. Okay, so we're rating this now. Yours is gone. So. Bro, you, I enjoyed it. You inhaled that, bro. You snorted that. It's Inhales, gone. bro. Inhales. Bro. Yeah. 
Whew, it's gone. What was that, man? That was, that was, that was my impression of you eating that pie. Oh, it was, it was gone. <laughs> it was on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Line them up. <laughs> Rack them up, bro. bro. I got my card and everything. It's crazy. Uh, okay, bro. But gonna, I paid the right card and I, uh, it was a good good choice I think we made today. Okay, out of 10? Yeah. 10, let, let's, let's talk about a 10 pie. What would a 10 pie be for you? Honestly, I think the closest I've had to a 10 is that uh, Kingsland Cottage. It's like a nine and a half. Okay. But I feel because I, I came on an empty stomach to my, I was, I was, uh, oh. I was duly prepared. That does actually make a difference. It does. It makes your, your taste buds very benevolent, very well-meaning and kind. Mm, the vocabulary you know, of this man. I, I had very, you know, very kind taste buds today, and, and consequently, I'm, I'm going to give it a, a seven and a half. Okay. It's very solid. You yes. Know? It does the trick. Hit the spot. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to come off yours, yep. uh, and I'm going to go with a seven. Yeah. Uh, it's not like one of those ones where you're like, wow, this is amazing. It's, it's respectable, it, it's well seasoned, I'll give it that, it's very well seasoned. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, the, um, the gravy is a bit, it's, it's great, but it's a bit messy. Yeah, it was a bit messy. Yours was a bit messy, it, look, I mean, look at the Balenciaga jeans. Off-white, right? off-white. Oh, sorry, off-white. Off yeah, yeah, off-white. Yeah. But yeah, seven for me, 7.5. Good, uh, you know what, what would I argue as a point of improvement? Maybe a little more steak? Mm. I think I had about two, two and a half, three good chunks of steak, which is great. But like all things in life, we want a little more. The slurpability of this pie is very high. Yeah, you it was. slip quite a lot. Yep. How about you give us a slurp there, Timmy? Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, you rehearsed that one. Oh, well, you want me in another one? Oh. Huh? Oh, that was just natural, bro. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you wanted one, Instinct bro. Instinct day. It is, bro. Instinct as as I heard, day. It's because we're in us, the woods. Give us, yeah. We're in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're in the woods and as long as I heard you give us, I was like, okay. But no. 7.5 for me? You know, 7.5 for you? 7 for me. We got recommended this spinach feta quiche. She said that she called it the mecca of alternative eating. Wow, well, I, I did not hear her say that. <laughs> if you said that, she said that, then bro, that's that song. I remember it, bro. I remember it distinctively, bro. Okay. Okay, we're going Harvey's on this one because I only had one left. Bro, it's a nice, nice texture. Okay. All right. I hope it doesn't taste like the ones from the tuck shop. We used to have them in the tuck shop. You did go to St. Peter's, bro. St. Peter's Home of the Brave. But I know their tuck shop probably had some kind of key on, key on salad and some some. Biscoff. It's a Bischoff. It's a Bischoff, bro. Okay, here we go. Let's have a big bite, eh? I am actually enjoying this. A little bit of cheese. The feta is great. You taste the spinach. You know, sometimes they'll put spinach in things just to tick the box. It's spinach in there, but you can taste that spinachy taste. I like spinach. Good blend of... You know what I might argue? Slightly more pastry, man. But I like so you're it. a thick pastry on the bottom? And I like the cheese too. The cheese don't like... Sometimes you have cheese wrap and it's got that like Taco Bell syrupy cheese rubbish. Nacho stuff. Rubbish, bro. I get you, bro. But this I'm alleviates your, my concerns. I'm on your team on that I'm one. Enjoy, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is a solid, this is a solid 8.5 for me. Really? Yeah. This is a great quiche. It's soft. It's, um, you can taste the different textures in there and the eggs have been, they're really nicely kind of whisked and it's not too crazy. You know, there's not too much into it. The worst thing you want is you get, I, I want a quiche, I want a feta and spinach quiche and then it's got uh peas in it and um mm, yeah, sure. and onions and yeah. i just want i just want the basic and this is exactly what it's what it is no false advertising yeah i agree yeah i can't really fold today yeah it's hard right except for that bit that you said you would like more pastry, small, but i'm i'm a fan of the, the small pastry i'm gonna give it a strong 7.5 okay yeah i'm like consistent it. yeah Now this is the creme de la creme. This is why I bought you. Oh look, little magpie. Look, show that so you can show Regan. Oh look, Regan said to me, he's never seen a magpie. Hawks Bay, bro. That's it. Up the magpies, bro. Brantley Shield holders. Show my bro. Charles Lincoln oh, McClatchy, bro. That's the ghost of uh, Heath Ledger, bro. Coming to say what's up. Show my bro. Free Zach Gilford, bro. That's actually it. It's coming, bro. Huh? It's coming closer to you, bro. Oh, oh. Sunga. <laughs> hey. Oh, that's bro, honestly, that, that beak is that beak could hurt. Should oh, I sing look, to it? Do you reckon I'll come over? Bro, yeah. What song? Uh, let me come through, bro. Let me come through, <sighs> baby. 
Let me be your preacher. Ooh. I can gas you up Ooh. and say things you want to hear. Hey. Hard to get, eh? I know, but hey, man. But I'm hard to want. Let's go. I can't wait for you to try this, okay? Yeah, yeah. the B Eric Bischoff pie. The Eric Bischoff, you know, the NWO's mastermind. This one, bro. Okay. All right, here we go. Eric Bischoff. How good is this? Still going. Ooh. But it's been it's a hot start. We've come out the gates really hot. The biscuit, yeah, it's that uh, ginger sort of taste to it, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. got that gingery taste of the the bis biskoff. Yeah. Um, biskoff, biskoff, whatever it is, biskoff, biskoff, bro. And the softness of the donuts, the great, the the cream is. Mm. Mm. You know where I'm gonna go with this, bro. I don't need to say much. Okay, I'm gonna rate it straight off the bat. I this, get why I rate it. This is, ten. this is a 10. Oh. I'm going 10. Okay, and, and and this is like, honestly, I had this and just thought, I need, this is an amazing masterpiece. It's been put together in Chartwell Bakery in Monaco. Labbed up, bro. Labbed, bro. They went in the lab and yep. they fixed it up. And it's just, it's just the softness mixed with the texture of the biscuit on top. I'm gonna give it a nine. Okay. Contrary to my face, Looking unimpressed, I was actually very impressed. My taste buds were speaking for itself. Cat got my tongue, but the Bischoff had my tongue. Oh, you know, I just took it in there, bro. I was doing the NWX. NWX. Mm, mm. The click was getting <laughs> had me, bro. They've also got um mm. like the the spread, the Bischoff spread on the inside. Like look at the inside of yours. Yeah, so uh, they've, it's, they've, the, it's, it's the biscuit to cream ratio is all on. It all makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Mm. Don't make no dollars, don't make no it's sense. It's like a modern snap election, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, Sam V. Sam Valima. Sam Vicious. Virtues. V Virginia Tech University. Velocity. Voluptuous. Bro. Oh, bro. Well, I'm just, I'm working on it. Oh, I'm you're getting there. Um, you got so much happening for you. Yes. I'm so happy to call you a friend, man. Pioneers are on. Bro, pioneers. So you got, on, a, you got a tour? Because this year has been absolutely crazy for you. It's been cool so far. Yeah. It's been good. So you got a tour learning. coming up? I do. October. Uh, October 29 is, is the Auckland Day at Tuning Fork. Um, yeah, just confirming all the other dates at the moment, the guests and the openers. But uh, it's my first time touring. Uh, so it, it feels like maybe I should have done it earlier, but the flu came and, and kind of swept away a lot of our ambitions and dreams and aspirations there, but that's okay. Uh, getting to do it now, thankfully, so uh, I'm going to take a lot of learnings from it. I'm sure I'll get things wrong, I'm sure I'll get them right, but just excited to travel. And um, the best thing about performing in front of new faces is, is, is seeing them react to you for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know when I've got people in the palm of my hand as a performer, mm. and I love that feeling when it's, you know, you know it's new and it's, it's, it's uh, genuine. Albums on the way? Uh, EP on the way. EP on the way. EP on the way, yeah. So just finalizing that at the moment. Five, six tracks. Um, worked with some of my favorite producers and a couple of artists that I'm pretty privileged to work with. So um, yeah, looking to just grow from this year and learn from it. Uh, never drop into the summer. A couple of Kiwi bangers, nice little summer hits. And then um, next year at some point, go over to the, the States and, and see who I can work with and jam with over there. It's been so good to have you come through on the bakery run, brother. Come through, bro. You see what I did? You see what I did there? You see what I did there? Hey, we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Let's go. Let's go. Pun is on.